friends, welcome back to our channel, Quartioli Cooking Family, where we try to make easy, delicious cooking for all ages. Today we are going to show you one of our last summer recipes because summer is almost over, sadly. But I do love autumn so much, so I can't wait for autumn as well. And today we'll show you one of the nicest summer um, recipes ever. It is our peach iced tea. It is so good and definitely worth a try. So let's get right into it. First you want to start by obviously slicing three, two or three large peaches. Here I chose to use two large peaches because they were quite big. But you can use two or three large peaches and cut them into small-ish squares I would say. You probably know, you'll probably see with your eye how small you want them. But you know they're going to have to boil so you want them to be reasonably small. chopped your peaches, put them in a pan on medium to low heat and stir them for a couple of minutes just by themselves in the pan and then add your water. Now the measurement that I put in the ingredients is what I used but depending on how big your peach is obviously it's going to be different. You want the water to come a little bit higher than the peaches so that all the peaches are submerged but you don't want them just floating around if you know what I mean they just have to be covering the peaches but not like is a swimming pool of water then add your sugar this is gonna sweeten your syrup because this is not really the actual tea part this is the syrup which you will then have to dilute with other liquids start to mix and then cover it and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes or until you see it really starts to simmer. After five minutes, I opened it up again and added the rest of my sugar. Um, you can put all the sugar at once at the start, but I just preferred to put it in two different heaps so that I didn't have big clumps of sugar going around. But you can really choose, it's up to you whether you want to do it all at once or separately. for 10 to 15 minutes like I said before. Once you see that it's simmering, it's not really boiling but it's just before then or you see that the sugar is all clumping in the middle, um, give it a good mix and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a potato masher or you can use anything you might want to use. You can use a fork and you want to start to kind of squish the peaches and this is just to get all of the flavor out don't have to completely squish them. After you have done that, you want to let them chill for another 10 minutes in the pan on medium to low heat. Once your peach syrup is ready, place it on a surface and grab a ladle and start to put them in a bowl. You, over your bowl, you will want to have a uh, sieve. Um, you want larger, a larger sieve, but still uh, small enough so that no peach pieces go into the mix. You want to start to strain it by grabbing the liquid and peaches and putting it in through the strainer and just kind of let all the liquid come out but not the peaches itself. Once you have done that and you have run out of your peaches, you want to squish the peaches that are in your sieve to get any extra juice out. wait for the peach juice to start to cool off you want to grab a tea bag and boiling water and place it in another bowl and that will be your tea let that infuse um, for 15 minutes while the peach juice cools down once they have both cooled down grab your jug that we, you will be putting your juice in and add about two ladle spoons of um, tea at the base of your jug so it's about a quarter of your jug should be filled with tea. This kind of depends on 
how you would like it to taste but obviously if it is your first time you have to just try it and next time change it depending on how you like it once you have done that clean your ladle and then start to add your peach juice which you'll probably have to fill up all the way to half the jug jug with water this is so that it is diluted and it is not too sugary you can add as much water as you like or as little as you like again depending on your taste after you have done that I would suggest putting your tea in the fridge overnight but you can put it in there for a couple of hours then add a couple of ice cubes a slice of lemon and you're good to go the perfect summer drink Buon appetito, alla prossima! Grazie a tutti!